So this is part two of my electric car charging video. I wanted to keep the other one brief, um, not get too wordy, and so I decided to make a part two. So if you come back for part two, thank you. Um, most of the information is in part one, so go find that if you're looking for a lot of information. A couple little things I want to talk about though. One is, this is my BMW charger, it's four, four or five years old, came with a car. You'll notice here, it has a shiny new plug end. And this is why. Um, this is the end that used to be on the charger cable. And this is the extension cord end I was using at the time. The extension cord is rated for 12 amps, and that's an 8 amp draw. So I thought it was fine, but I was uh, walking by it and I noticed, for some reason I touched it and I was like, hey, it's getting a little hot. Yanked on it, wouldn't come apart. So I kind of went, uh oh. Um, gonna have to figure that out. Um, took it in, pried it apart, and it was ruined. Um, so, here's my conclusion. Um, I don't necessarily blame the BMW connector end, although. For 8 amps continuous, it looks, the wire gauge here and the, the plug quality is, is basically what you, uh, the IEC cable you'll use to power your half an amp computer, um, but it is rated for, for that. And I actually blame the Home Depot or department store uh, extension cable end, and this is why. Um, I've seen this in the past a little bit, uh, soft these plugins that are softer, right now it's not soft at all, it's been transformed by the heat into a much harder plug. Um, but these soft uh, extension cord ends uh, tend to conduct a little or, or malfunction in that way in that they will, um, they will allow a little, just a little bit to pass between and basically make an electric heating element out of the end of the extension cable. So, why am I telling you all this? Because when you uh, get a charger, make sure yours has a hard plastic or neoprene is ideal end, not the soft plastic. If you're using an extension cord, use one with those hard plastic ends. The, you know, real. We're talking about eight amps, which isn't a lot. You can look, well, my refrigerator is six amps. And, you know, I don't have a special cable for that. But this is eight amps continuous for 14 hours at a time um, on the level on the level one charging. So, um, you really got to up your extension cord game. You got to make sure your receptacle is, is updated new if you're using an old receptacle. Um, you might want to just upgrade that to something where you get a really nice connection, nice tight connection when you plug it in. Um, not if it's a little kind of loose or wiggling around, that's enough to cause the same phenomenon that, that, that we saw with that extension cable. So, use only high quality ends. Buy cables if you buy a charger cable i bought an aftermarket non uh, um no name uh charger cable and it's been great actually it is it, it appears to be the same handle as as this one the exact same one the cable appears to be similar quality um and it cost you know when i bought my 240 volt um it cost um quarter of what, well, maybe a third of what the BMW wanted for the, you know, the 400 to 600 dollar um, 240 volt charger. And so far, so good. Uh, it's behaved as well as, as the BMW one had. Um, and it came with a, a nice uh, neoprene end on the connector. So um, it will uh, make a solid connection. And I put a new receptacle out for this good good solid connection. So, um, also, if you have a very long cable, if you're like, oh, I'll buy the 30 foot one because, uh, just in case, um, if you leave it coiled up, it will actually be become a heating coil. It will cause a magnetic phenomenon to happen, all that energy going in a coil, even though it's insulated. You know, insulation isn't perfect, especially on an economical cable. I suppose, but um, if you leave the coil, the, the, the if you leave it plugged in, if you're pulling 16 or 32 amps through it, 
and you leave it coiled up on the floor, you're going to generate some heat there. So uh, check your while you're charging, check your cables, check your connections for if they're generating just a little bit of heat, and if they are, make some changes to your charging um, procedures and setup. So. That's what I wanted to say that I didn't have time to say in the other video. A uh, little less important than the other information. So check out the um, um, BMW charging, i3 charging, or uh, e-car charging video part one. This was part two. I'm going to make more videos about the i3 because um, I, uh, when I was uh, looking for an i3, I didn't quite find the kind of videos uh, I wanted to, uh, to give me this kind of information. So, uh, thanks again for watching.